Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. One of the primary functions of Fleet Forces Command is to provide forces that are deployed throughout Europe and NATO. Their other primary function is to assist sailors who are going on an individual augmentee tour. I'm here to uh, talk to constituencies such as yourself and the sailors because we are the uh, executive uh, agent for the uh, uh, individual augmentees. And uh, so meeting people who are going on individual augmentee duty to meet and uh, help them understand what that's about. For more information on IA resources, go to ecrc.navy.mil. Military personnel are highly encouraged to participate in this year's election process. Service members overseas can ensure that they have an opportunity to vote through an absentee ballot. Another alternative is the federal write-in absentee ballot. Federal write-in absentee ballot is important to our voters. It's a backup ballot that they can use if the requested state ballot does not arrive in time for them to vote it and get it back by the state deadlines for counting. For more information, contact your command voting assistance officer or visit feap.gov. The Navy has recently made changes to the leave policy. The annual leave carryover is temporarily increased from 60 to 75 days. Special leave accrual retention limits have also been modified. For more information, see NAV Admin 221-08. The U.S. Navy and Coast Guard are conducting a maritime homeland security experiment to deploy an adaptive force package. The experiment is being held in Tampa Bay, Florida, where the crew will find and remove assimilated underwater threat. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Latrice Ames.